my voice is a little uh, untuned. Very simply, so there not be any question of anxiety or worry. Uh, on March 14th, I decided to take uh, an operation on my carotid artery, which had narrowed and was not pumping enough blood from my heart to my brain, and therefore threatened a stroke. I don't want to go out by a stroke. I'd rather it go out another way. So I went. The operation was perfectly successful. There wasn't even a bit of pain, except that under anesthesia, they put a tube down your throat. And so I lost my voice for about a month or two. So therefore, I ask your uh, indulgence if you or forgive me for my indulgence, but I will read in this voice, if you don't mind. I'm very pleased that this book came out. It's tough to read in a voice and puns, but I'm going to read, I'm going to open this with uh, the war. The war drugs on die after die. Sold chairs and chopped sewage chives mock an ignominious fear of so called existence and jams juice tins over in his tome. Tears over Bagudud as well. And Pilucha is dust and smothered, and all I rock is a mad sad, a ginstone of pure war king peoples and fear must without heaven a dot of a dot of Eutrepia or a tittle of a toka pot. Let him put that war boil into the papal scrapper. Let us bile that gag host our a jail roomy and oaf for all his tucked ass bullshit and peel the plague and watch him and his junta of ass ashen analysts guard down the stinking hole they were shut up from to be gone what This house of hunger for the American kids who go to sleep each night without supper. This house of hunger has millions of kids in it. Breakfast and lunch is all they're worth. Fat Exxon and Bechtel have billions of bucks in them. What pretty prophets to set before King Death. Banks stink with the stench of unmitigated greed. Ms. Mr. and Mrs. Indifference included in their digital speed. While those kids lie a bed each night without even a cup of bullion in their trembling hands. Oh, go kill the children in other lands, America, you beautiful. And cover for the murders you plant in your own backyard. Keep insisting your democracy. But in the starving darkness, those sad lost eyes know the truth of your icy lie. 
that you sold all the marbles in their little sacks to the bullies who applaud because they won't give them back. And you've stolen the bread that cried for their mouths and turned it into dirty dough. And that's why when finally they managed to fall asleep, their dreams call you the haunted house. Put a spell of the sun on you to burn you down so that greedy spirits flee and fields grow rapidly. Good things for hungry little bellies to eat. Between the page with the heart and the mind wrestling upon it, and the ear which later will receive those limbs of light as perfect harmony, there's a stillness whose volume speaks worlds of words defiant of measure, treasures of the unsayable, secrets of the ever-beginning enchantment and the never-ending gathering at the lips of the kiss of the poem. Now I... Now, I understand them causing an enormous amount of anguish and pain with this screwed up voice of mine. So I brought a very beautiful woman along, my girlfriend. She's going to read three poems to you so that you get another dimension of my voice. Okay? So please welcome Agneta Fall. The House of the Setting Sun, 